Guys, I am here with Aaron, and he owns this gem of a vehicle. Aaron's right here. I admire him deeply for everything that he's doing. He travels with a couple companions that we're gonna talk about, that you went way above and beyond most the DIYers, I would say. Very thankful to do this tour with Aaron here. He's a little shy, he normally is not on this side of the camera. We're gonna get him out of his shell a little bit. Here we go. Uh, what are we on? What chassis are we on uh, before we get started? So it's a 2020 all-wheel drive uh, Ford Transit 148 Extended 350 Dually. They are hard to find. How do you like it? I like it. There was only two available in the country when I was looking for them. Are you kidding? No. There was one in Ohio and one in Boise, so we went to Boise. And did it have windows or was it a full cargo? No, full cargo, bare van, no glass. You got plenty of room from top of head to ceiling. Yeah. yeah it's... And you dropped the ceiling too. Yeah, there's uh, two layers of Fensilate, double furring strips on a couple of the ribs, so I, I took some of the bow out. I'm actually looking at this right now. I'm going to get a close-up of it. You're probably not going to be able to see it, but what is that in between the slats? It's just black automotive carpet. Two layers of Fensilate, um, a layer of Easy Cool Radiant Barrier. Yeah. And then uh, the black automotive carpet and then the cedar. And normally you pull a trailer yeah. that has your Harley. Yeah. Yeah, Harley, 46-inch uh, tool chest, and uh, my mountain bike goes in there normally. Oh, that's next level. Living right there, guys. I'm going to spin around real quick, so just to show everybody, but you have uh, this stuff right here and mm -hmm. what that Scratch helped. pad, for, Scratch the, pad. Uh, for the mascots. And I thought that was a water feature when I first entered. Yeah. I actually <laughs> asked you about that. Yeah, that's a cat fountain. It's a cat fountain. They like to drink running water, so, so. Uh, yeah, it is filtered. It's. <laughs> I mean, you're you're a cat dad. I get yeah, it. Yeah, I'm a cat dad. I'm all I, in. I, uh, I'm going to step out just right here on the ledge here, okay. and I'm going to talk about your setup right here. You got yeah. a bench. I yep. just realized this. There's a little cat cubby. Yeah, yeah, the cat box is under there. Uh, that's divided into three sections. Uh, oh, look at that. Cat box in the center, and shoes and boots, and then that's the uh, catch tank for my hydronic system. The hydronic heater? Yeah. Okay, well, we're, yeah. we just talked about it. Let's keep going on that. Yeah. So that's your heating element. Yeah, yeah it's a uh, Eberspacher... Uh, gas fired. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. That's tapped into your tank. Yep. And tapped then right into the gas tank so I don't have to mess with propane or, or anything. Right. There's a fan coil right here for cabin heat and behind that's a 30 plate heat exchanger for hot water. What I love is you put it central in the van. Yeah. Because, you know, you want the whole van. Warm. Exactly. Bench, this is obviously your workbench, but you're, mm -hmm. you know, maybe, maybe eating or whatever it yeah, may be. Yeah, eating, chilling. I uh, actually swing this out and put my feet on it, take naps there every now. In fact, you caught me doing that. I caught you taking a nap earlier. I knocked on your door and I was like, <laughs> "Hey, we doing this?" We had a discussion about your windows earlier. Yeah. You had a little bit of trouble with this. Yeah, lead time, um, lead time issues with a, with several things in the van. It took four and a half months to get the windows. Now, which companies did you did you go? You said, I think it was AMA on the yeah, side. Yeah, AMA, 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 and that's the CRL. I like this the CRL because it's got an awning window and I can leave it open while it's raining. So and your other ones are sli well, this one's a slider. Sliders, yep. You built a, I guess, a divider yep. or a bulkhead, this is, and you wanted to do that to separate space or uh, insulation for the most part. <sighs> yeah, yeah, big time. You can put your hand past that curtain and just feel the heat. Which I guess is a good segue for me to bring up this guy right the above your head. Air, yeah, yeah. I put in a fresh air unit. Um, I do like it a lot. Economical um, in terms of initial cost as comparison to an AC. What yeah. was the, can you say the cost? I think it was $1,400 all in. Um, but the very first thing you said to me was what? It's not an air conditioner. It's not an air yeah. conditioner. It, it takes the uh, the edge off and you're in here earlier and it's- Oh, it's, it was cool in here. blowing cool air. In certain humidities, yes. it does not work. Right, it's an evaporative cooler. So once the humidity gets to a certain point, 80 plus, I think it's really struggles to evaporate. So right. you can't evaporate. I'm infatuated with this side of the van. Yeah. You did something that I don't see very often. One massive opening. Yeah, it's eight feet. Eight feet. Yeah, it's a full eight feet. I didn't want to cut this board. <laughs> you know, I've never seen anybody else do it. So and it's got four hidden hinges, uh, European style hinges. Did I ask you how long the build took? Six months. Okay, so yeah. six months of a DIY build, which in is- In my driveway. In a driveway. Yeah. This is obviously all of your device yep. it, or you know everything you need i guess yep all the monitoring for the batteries and the dc dc charger max air fan and then this is the control for the boiler yeah. uh you went with all renergy products which i'll show in the back as well 
other people would have you know the dual counters right yeah. that's like the the standard right. layout yeah you went high with this yeah. because it's like a dresser it's kind of my dresser yeah i love that yeah my wardrobe's down here so i needed the length uh to do that the toilet's in the bottom drawer over here so i needed the height for that as well airhead it's oh you have an airhead in there yeah oh my god so you are one of the few that listen to me when i say airhead i like more over nature's head yeah i like it you don't have to open the two to get the one out uh yes thank you for saying that you got cat litter in here and you got a yep. composting toilet yep smell none i love what you did here yeah i got that that idea from a, another instagrammer that, that figured that out as a problem that he was having with the with the drawer sliding open so yeah, i cut up a belt to do that is that what you did yeah <laughs> cut up a belt and uh and bought the snap kit and we mentioned the ceiling earlier mm -hmm. um i just want to tell people the wood and i know you don't remember the stain but the wood and the yeah. stain it's uh it's varathane stain it's cedar weathered gray weathered gray yeah weathered gray on kitchen this is yep. beautiful uh Thanks. you did a fantastic freaking job love the backsplash which is a simple tin i believe correct yeah it's actually polymer it's a pvc i believe it's some some kind of polymer but pick it up in any hardware store home depot okay fair yeah. enough i love yeah, it yeah super easy i actually built this cabinet for the right height so that these would fit without cutting them it's a two burner uh, induction range did i ask you how many wa how much water you have on board i don't think i did 50 so gallons. 50 gallons 50 gallons of fresh water yeah. and that that obviously is for here yep as well as you have a shower off the back, which will show. Shower in the back, yep. I don't know if you guys can see it. He also has a filtered water yeah, six as well. Yeah, six-stage filtration uh, for that. How often do you have to change those filters, do you know? Two years on this one. Really? Yeah. Who makes it? Uh, water drop. Water drop? Yeah. And that's just plumbed into their 50-gallon tank? Yep. Right okay. So that cold and it goes side, through yeah. the filters? Yep. So you have plenty of drinking water plenty in the desert. Water, yeah. And then you also have just a gray, I'm assuming, under yeah, here? Yeah, gray tank's under here, a 20-gallon gray tank. 20 gallon gray yeah how do you um how do you dump it there's a little spot here on the step behind the fountain oh yeah right behind the fountain the, <clears throat> your water feature yeah my water feature oh and there's a ball valve right there and it's just got a, a drain i use only biodegradable stuff so we all, all van lifers should if they yeah. if they don't that water feature is run off of a plug down here yeah usb is that what it is yeah 12 volt fridge isotherm isotherm yeah, 85 85 uh, uh, cruise yeah cruise 85. look at you you invented what you're supposed to yeah yeah that's really nice so i've got uh, holes down below too so it's just convection last before we go outside mm -hmm. uh, and show the outside your bed yeah um i want to ask you this i didn't ask you this off camera your cabinetry over your like where your feet would the go feet, yeah do you feel claustrophobic with that at all no actually that bar pull on the cabinet holds my ipad so i can watch oh you watch TV in bed. Uh, big enough to fit my full face motorcycle helmet and my full face mountain bike helmet. Is that, that was the intention That's behind it? Yeah. I'm glad you're saying all these things. Like you put the outlet right here for a reason. You got the, the that cabinet's a certain size. Yeah. You did this a certain size. You didn't know those measurements before you started van building. No. You just did it as you went it was like right. a progression thing it's just that what do i need this to do so and figure that's out a, what the function is and work backwards exactly and like yeah i'm sure that like all of this had to do with that and yep. even your table here had a reason for it also i'm so glad that you mentioned that can we go to the outside of the van and you yeah. kind of show me around yeah let's do it cool so excuse any road noise everybody uh but you know it is what it is what do you got up top my man i've got 450 watts of solar um, I got the Fiamma awning right here, and then of course the, the outside part of the Fresh Air Max Air fan. And who did the rack? Uh, uh, Flatline Van Company out of Scapoose. And you actually had really good things to say about that. Yeah, they're great. And then this Fiamma, you have to hand crank, correct? It's a hand crank. Yeah, cool. It's really easy. Uh, let's go to the back. Okay. That's just rad in itself. Now, normally, like he said, Guys, he does have a uh, trailer with his yeah. bike in it, a motorcycle. 5 by 10 trailer, yeah. Look at this gem. A 60 inch full extension, 600 pound cargo slide. So it slides all the way out. <laughs> we'll get it out of the way so I can see the rest of it. I'm gonna back up so I can actually show like just how rad that thing is. Yeah, it's nice because you can get to the side of everything and you don't have to reach in. We also get a good view of all of his electric right now too which is, uh, do you mind if I show this off? No, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. 600 amp hours of lithium. Yeah, 600 amp hours of lithium. Uh, I'm just gonna spin around so you guys can all see. This is actually the Fresair tank from what yep. he was talking about. 
and uh, that's the one that you want a little bit bigger. I would love for that to be twice the size. Twice the size. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, and then I'll spin back around and I'll show. Uh, this is his 50 gallon tank. Yeah, it's 50 gallon tank. Massive. Yeah, I just and built it inside of an 80-20 cage. Uh, if you want to put that back in, it would okay. actually show your shower. Sure. Uh, so it's a thermostatic shower valve. What do you mean by thermostatic? This uh, sets the temperature and this sets the flow. So oh, okay. You can set what temperature you want. Like if you want to take a navy shower, uh -huh. you don't have to swing through cold each time. It's just the temp temperature that you want. Then I put a shower bar up here so you can just hang the yeah, shower. Now, when you, you're mostly out in the woods or wilderness or desert, uh, yeah. do we even put a curtain we up? Don't. No. You, you just go, yeah. you free it, man. Yeah, we're in nature. This is, you just kind of cut everything off to the back here. Um, it's kind of, yeah. it's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. Uh, originally, I built that panel up there because I wanted to, uh, that's magnet fit together. Gotcha, no worries. Uh, to, to cover up all the mechanical. Oh, that door. panel at the top up there. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay. I just continued the, the ceiling down onto that. Now, normally I don't ask professional builders, but you're a DIYer. I am. So if you're okay with sharing sure. price. I didn't add it up. Okay, mental give me an estimate. Reason. Mental health reasons. Um, that was actually a very good point for everybody think, that's uh, a DIYer out there. Yeah. <laughs> I think probably 30. That sounds about right. 35. And hours, you've got to be around six, 700. Probably. At yeah. least. Yeah, it was pretty much every evening and weekend for six months and then pretty much full time for the last couple of months. Before the six months, I'm sure you were planning and researching like crazy. Oh yeah, a lot of nights of just standing there in the empty van staring at it. Is that what you set. did? Yeah. That was one of your processes? I yeah. mean, everybody has a different process. Yeah. All right, man, well, again, uh, how can we follow you? If somebody wants to ask you a question, are you okay with some absolutely. DMs? Yeah, absolutely. You're a very accommodating human and we appreciate that. This well, is what the van community is all about. Yeah. Happy to help anybody that needs it. Best way to DM you is through Instagram. Get a hold yeah. of you is DM through an Instagram. Yeah. Instagram DM. Okay. It's just one dot wandering. Dude, thank you so much for doing this with me. Uh, I always love meeting new people yeah. as well as yeah. seeing their their like life in a van. I guess. Yeah. You give a lot of inspiration. Well, thanks. We got to get you comfortable in front of the camera next. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Aaron. <laughs> right, thank you so much, right. man. Yeah, you bet. Later. Later.